Nina is taking a few jumps on Raya. The 16-year-old works every day at the livery yard caring for her horse. The hard work is fun, but they're facing a setback. The town where they live, Bad Soden Allendorf in Hessen, is imposing a 200 euro annual tax on horse owners. Financially, it's awful. I'm already paying monthly rent at the stable. Then there's the veterinarian. If something happens, if the horse breaks a leg or something, that's very expensive. And there isn't any health insurance for horses, so it would be terrible. Many will likely say anyone who has a few thousand euros to spend on a horse can certainly afford to pay 200 more in taxes. Nevertheless, some riders here scrimped and saved to buy their horses. After all, it's racing, not riding, that's the sport of kings. Plenty of horse people have lots of money, breeders and people who own several horses. And competitive riding is played up, and you can earn some money doing it. But the people who just ride for fun are generally not very wealthy. That's true for the town of Bad Soden Allendorf as well. Saying the town is broke is putting it mildly. A cradle of German culture, the fountain by the gates of Franz Schubert's song The Lime Tree is located here. Today, six clinics are located in the spa town. Water vapor from the salt springs is good for people with lung problems. But a series of health care reforms has hit spas hard. Over the years, the number of guests has fallen by half. And Bad Soden Allendorf has gone into debt. At the moment, the town owes 80 million euros, or 10,000 euros per resident. The mayor says it's almost like in Greece. The only way to get a bailout deal is to save, save and save some more. The political decision makers are also trying to appeal to horse owners' sense of solidarity. This is about the town in this case. It is just about Bad Soden Allendorf. And we've all got to close ranks and make some financial sacrifices in order to offer coming generations a good future. The head of the Riding and Driving Association understands in principle that the town must raise money. But he's furious about a special tax on horse ownership because horse owners are also subject to all the other levies as well. That's where the mayor's got it wrong. Horse riders have children in kindergartens and face fees that have gone up by 50 percent. And horse owners are also subject to increased property taxes. And they pay sewage, water and whatnot. And horse owners are the only group that's facing an additional tax. Critics say taxing horse ownership is arbitrary. They wonder why revenue can't be generated by raising taxes on cars or dogs, for example. Officials from equestrian associations say it's a matter of principle. About a million people in Germany ride or drive coaches. The group says they shouldn't be taxed for it, but if anything, be given a tax break. Riding is a youth sport. More than 70% of the association members are young people. Horseback riding performs a function in society. It keeps kids off the streets and gets them away from computers. A child that is regularly handling horses isn't exposed to the dangers of underage drinking, drugs or prostitution. Each horse means there's one social worker less to pay. The Equestrian Sports Association has petitioned a regional high court to review the validity of the tax. Pension owner Doris Stefan hopes the judges will find in their favor. Business is bad and the tax will make it worse. She fears her town could set a precedent for all of Germany. The tax will soon be imposed everywhere, all over Germany. We're just the first. Kirchheim has already decided to impose the tax too, starting in June. The tax is the topic at German stables. Some towns want horse owners to pay fees as high as 750 euros annually. That makes Bad Soden Allendorf's tax look like a bargain. <laughs>